Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Floppy Cats and ring the bell to be notified of our latest videos. Hi, Floppy Catters! Today we're doing the final product review video for the Bee. This is Go Cats the Bee wand toy. Um, it's just a little thing that looks like a bee and it has feathers and I'm not sure what this fabric is. When Chiggy wants to play, I have that round pink thing. It's made by Black Hole Cat Litter Mat and it's called Catch the Tail and it's one of their favorite games, but it's one that I don't have to be around. I mean, I, I only let them play with it when I am around. I'm gonna get it underneath here. So when he wants to play, he goes to it, which right now I have it lazily, lazily? <laughs> Is that a word? Probably not. On a table. And so he goes to it like, please put this, turn this on, I wanna play. Today I had some time to play with his wand toy. So I thought I'd bring out the bee. We have lots of wand toy options. Charlie goes for certain wand toy attachments and Chiggy goes for others. Hey, Reader had posted about the bee on our Facebook group, I think. I'll include a link to that below if you're interested in joining it and checking it out. And so I thought I would buy it and share it with you guys. Go Cat makes a lot of, it's a pretty well-established cat toy company and they make a lot of cat toys, but I hadn't heard of Debi and I wanted to check it out. If you've been watching our channel for a while, then you know how much I like cat wand toys because not only, provides entertainment for your cats, but also provides exercise for indoor cats that don't get the exercise that a cat would have if it had outdoor access. But it, part of a cat's routine is to hunt, play, eat, groom, and sleep. So a lot of people, when you know they first get a kitten and they're having problems with it, sleeping through the night, my first recommendation to them is to play with them right before bed and then feed them right before you go to bed. So play with them, which will help drive their hunt <laughs> instinct. And then if you feed them right after that, then that helps drive the, you know, hunt, prey, eat instinct. And then they'll groom and they'll sleep. You know, adult cats you don't have that issue with as much, but it helps in that regard. Charlie, for example, playing with a cat wand toy helps Charlie... <laughs> helps Charlie want to eat more. And that is always a problem with Charlie, so that's a good solution. So this wand toy has this little plastic wand and then it has a wire string which allows it to move around pretty easily. Another thing, recently a reader reached out to me and said, you know, I um, have bought a bunch of wand toys on Amazon and then they fall apart within two seconds. And so the wand toys that I like to feature are ones that do not fall apart in two seconds. And the thing, the nice thing about this and see that little hook there you can unhook it and change out the attachment and you can buy those individually and so you don't have to buy an entire new wand you can just buy the the attachment and switch it out to something else if you want the other thing with cat wand toys is that i only play with it with them while i'm present i don't leave it sitting around i actually store my wand toys on top of my refrigerator where my cats never go and the reason why is because they could get this wrapped around their neck um, or another appendage and have a serious medical problem or they could eat the attachment and then you have a really serious medical problem. So wand toys for me are always supervised play. Another way to keep a wand toy enticing is to do something like I'm doing here where you drag, well now it's gotten caught on the darn thing where you drag it underneath something like the black hole catch the tail mat. Because that makes it a lot more enticing. That's more similar to what they might find outside. Like if a mouse or a chipmunk is under a pile of leaves or I don't know, 
in their den or something like that, then the cat is gonna be playing and watching it. And you don't have to have something like the black hole catch the tail, little tarp thing. You can use a piece of newspaper. I live in Kansas City and we get those weekly ads for like grocery store sales and deals and stuff like that. So you could easily just lay out one of those flat and um, drag it under that, which I have done here. And what makes this exciting or just using the black hole catch the tail mat or tarp thing is that it's, <laughs> you can tear and it makes fun sounds and all sorts of different things makes it a little more fun for your kitties. Bub, wait, do you uncovered to be, but you've got... <laughs> this enticed him to come back over. He wasn't as interested when it was exposed and flying through the air, but he was interested in it down on the ground, making fun, crinkly sounds. So again, it depends on the cat and you just have to work with what you have and, and see what entices them the most to have fun. Hitting your cat with a wand toy is not the best thing, of course, with the wire string and, well, I don't have the best aim. Um, you can't always be certain, but I had my young nephew one time played with Charlie with a wand toy and hit him in the face um, by accident. He just didn't have the dexterity and stuff as a small child to do that and to to make the aim appropriate and Charlie ran away and never wanted to come back. So you can ruin your cat by um, hitting them in the face with it. Not ruin them, but ruin them from wanting to play with it again. It didn't ruin Charlie for life, obviously, but it ruined it for him wanting to play with my nephew for sure. And that's the other thing to keep in mind about when you have wand toys is so many times I've watched somebody's videos about or watch someone play with their cat with a wand toy and they're always throwing it in their face or throwing it right by them. And that's not very enticing for the cat because if you think about it in nature, their prey is not going to come running up to them and be, be like, catch me, catch me. All right, guys, that wraps it up for our final product review video for Go Cats W. Let me know what questions or concerns that you have in the comments below. I'll also include a link to where you can buy this product online. If you have the B, duh B, it's D-A-B-E-E, -E, two words, I think, but I'll include all that in the title and whatnot. If you have the B or another Go Cat product that your cat adores, please include that in the comments so that other cat parents can benefit from knowing what kitties like. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.